So big data is a huge step for engineering. We're able to understand systems that we weren't able to before. We've always had the capability to develop models, to understand how different products might work. We've always had the ability to do experiments, but scaling those experiments and understanding certain things can be really difficult. Designers are using data as a means to seed their designs, as a means to test their designs and to extend them. Uh, and so consequently, we end up with a far shorter design period, but one that gives greater guarantees for safety, security, uh, and so on. Like a really good example of how we're using big data in a real operation is an air lubrication system for ships. These systems create bubble carpets underneath the ship across the whole distance, which separates the water from the ship hull and reduces the resistance. This allows performance increases in the region of five to 8%. We can't model these systems because the number of bubbles that we would need to model across 200 and 300 meters is too computationally difficult. So now we can put sensors on a ship to understand how that air lubrication system's working and optimize the performance and reduce emissions. Data-centric engineering wasn't a thing. If you went on to Google and typed in data-centric engineering, you really wouldn't get many hits or many returns. The term actually was something we invented. We were doing a process called a foresight review where we got all the experts in the world on big data at the time to come together and tell us how Lloyd's Richardson Foundation could advance safety using big data. And so the foundation made the investment to partner with the Alan Turing Institute to develop a programme of activity that would bring to life the potential that had been identified in the Technology Foresight publication. The initial goal of the programme was to build capability in data-centric engineering and also to get the discipline to grow from nothing into a really big thing that people would believe in and invest in. We are very proud to have partnered uh, with the Lloyd's Register Foundation and seen the birth uh, of a new discipline uh, that's transforming the professions of engineering and really helping to make the world uh, be engineered uh, in a safer way. The Lloyd's Register Foundation funding is a large part of what we'll do with innovation. So there's real support there to help us pull through the research that's occurring within UK universities and ensure that it makes a real world difference. This will be through four key themes of people, trying to improve the skills and understanding within these different sectors, building communities of people who are interested in how these techniques can work and how we turn these into real world products, through standards and regulations that will improve safety, and through the development of open source software that can be utilised by a large number of sectors to decarbonise and improve safety within their sector. In phase two, one of the things I'm really excited about is the opportunity to take this work more internationally. They can bring huge benefits and economic opportunities to different parts of the world. And so what we are now going to be doing in partnership with Turing and Lloyd's Register Foundation is to take this to the next level. And we're now going to focus more on the impact more on the translational uh, effects, more on the innovation uh, that can be realised uh, by data-centric engineering. It's been great to work with Lloyd's Register Foundation for the last 10 years. A real sense of pride at the initial stages of research that was so difficult to get funding for, through to the development of real-world products and the wider support of the community that Lloyd's Register Foundation brings. I think moving forwards into this programme director role, there's a real sense that the next 10 years are going to be even more exciting than those that we've done previously. And I'm really excited to continue to be part of that community. Mm -hmm.